Ailil. Hi, Shiri. So, I often hear from a lot of our customers talking about dead letters, Ailil, service bus dead letters. So, can you please help me understand what a dead letter is, the concept of dead letters? Yes, sure, Shri Hari. So, in service bus queues and topic subscriptions, you ha- get a secondary sub queue called dead letter queue. Uh, so the purpose of this uh, dead letter queue is to hold the messages that cannot be processed by any of the receivers at this point in time. Um, and say this gets comes in default in your uh, service bus queue or a topic. When you create them, you along with the main entity, you get a dead letter queue that can hold the messages. Uh, I can later inspect the dead letter messages and take any corrective actions required. Okay, so mm-hmm. can you please elaborate it with a real-time scenario, Alil? Of course I can. So, um, before that, tell me when did you do your online shopping last? Uh, past week, Alil. Past week, okay. So, uh, we are going to jump into an e-commerce scenario to understand this dead lettering better. Uh, so, you would have executed your order through an external website, isn't it? Yeah. So the order that you submit would get compiled as in service bus message and you have an order processing backend application that would receive this order and then process it. So let me help you understand the properties of this service bus queue. There are two key properties that is of importance in this scenario. I'm saying enable dead lettering on message expiration as true and I'm setting the default message time to live as three minutes. So what does this configuration mean to my queue is if the message that is coming into the queue is not processed within three minutes of its arrival by the order processing backend application, the message would automatically get moved into my dead letter queue. And that is how this queue has got 30 messages accumulated in it. And this is just one of the reasons why a message would get into a dead letter queue. Got it, Shriyari? Yeah, got it, LL. So right now, uh, you're sharing your screen and I can see that you're Mm -hmm. having 30 dead letter messages right now, right? Yeah. But how can I actually, you know, uh, process these messages? Uh, You said, no, in the previous statement, you also mentioned you Mm can... uh, even deal the, deal with these messages in later point in time, right? But how can I actually achieve that? Exactly. That's a brilliant question. In fact, this is one of the reasons why uh, people uh, choose tools like Serverless 360 to deal with these service bus messages. We have got an excellent capability with Serverless 360 a message processing capability that can throw light on the messages in your queues and topic subscriptions. So right in front of us is the end dead letter end of the incoming orders queue. I am receiving messages that is 10 messages in peak lock mode from my incoming orders queue. So here you get presented with a list of messages and now it is possible for me to inspect the message. Say I can view the content of the message. I can see its properties. I can understand why did this message enter into this dead letter queue. What is the reason, dead letter reason? It says time to live expired, which means my order processing application was unable to pick this message within three minutes of its arrival. Hence, this message has landed up into this dead letter queue with the reason time to live expired exception. Okay. So, yeah, so is this the only reason for a message to go dead letter? That's a brilliant question. So there are a number of reasons, Srihari. Say, for example, if the message's header size is beyond the allowed limit, the message would get dead lettered with the reason header size exceeded. Uh, say, if I am dealing with a session enabled service bus queue or a topic, and I'm sending a message to this queue or a topic without a session ID, then the message would get dead letter with the reason session ID is null. There are other system defined reasons like maximum transfer hop count is exceeded and all. Um, But what makes this more interesting is it is also possible for an application to dead letter a message explicitly with a business reason called a custom dead letter reason. 
okay so you are telling me that a user mm-hmm. can uh, himself delete error message right exactly yes so uh, why should someone actually do that elil yeah i can understand you are puzzled <laughs> why would i delete error message when i can yeah. process it <laughs> right mm-hmm. there are some business reasons shri hari so let me tell you help you understand this with an uh, uh, scenario in this e-commerce application itself so when the message is received in the queue this particular order processing logic app gets triggered yes so it picks up the message and here uh, it discovers that the item that has been requested in this order is currently out of stock so there is a choice for the logic app to dead letter this particular message with a dead letter reason like item out of stock so uh, my intention here is i would process this order at a later point in time when i expect my uh, this particular item to be available again so right now i cannot execute this order instead i am putting this on hold with a dead letter reason that says item is out of stock fair enough yeah lel <laughs> you know now i can segregate messages based on the status and then you know deal with it right exactly see here i have also got few other scenarios like uh, there is a vendor associated with this order to be processed yes so i find that that particular vendor is inactive when i execute this order so i have few messages which has been dead letter due to the recent vendor inactive and uh, some orders get cancelled after it has been started um, processing so at that execution i discover that this order is now cancelled and i dead letter them with the reason order cancelled yeah yeah will, this will absolutely you know uh, help a lot of users to differentiate their messages and then deal with uh, deal with it right exactly yeah yeah but in a real time scenario ll uh, mm-hmm. when we take any business scenarios they will be dealing with lakhs and lakhs of messages right exactly so how yeah. feasible is this uh, for an user to handle these a bulk amount of messages manually yeah manually so, yes. yeah exactly so that is where serverless 360 can add value to your business scenario so we have got a concept called automated tasks so this feature can come in handy when you need to deal with a huge volume of messages say so as you see here uh say time to live expired messages or those that needs to be resubmitted back into the queue so that the order processing application which is up and running now can pick it up and then process so here i create an automated task rule which says that the action that is expected to perform is resubmit the messages from incoming orders not all the dead letter messages but those which has been dead lettered with the reason time to live expired exception so it picks up those messages which has been dead lettered with this particular reason and push them back into the original queue so now the order processing application which is up and running can receive it and then execute these orders seamlessly without any manual intervention so this automated task can be scheduled to Uh, continuously perform this operation without any manual operation manual intervention yeah and uh, similar scenarios would be like cancelled orders why will i have to rethink the cancelled orders in my dead letter queue and end up spending on my azure service bus queue i can just purge them off i can create an automated task that will filter those messages which has been dead letter due to this custom dead letter reason and i can choose the operation to be delete okay. yeah and say if i expect the items to be brought in stock uh, within 2 days of time i can run and uh, um, execute an automated task which performs resubmit and delete operation that is i am moving the message from the dead letter queue to the original queue so my order processor will take it and then check if the item is available now and execute the order so this way uh, i achieve a seamless processing of my business messages without any manual intervention and this is possible only because i have cleverly classified my messages with a custom dead letter reasons yeah absolutely i 
now get a clear picture on you know like why someone mm-hmm. actually needs to push messages to the dead letter queue with some custom reasons exactly it becomes so much easier for them to deal with it at a later point in time right correct this automated tasks along with the custom dead letter reasons can uh, significantly improve the operational efficiency on uh, dealing with messages in service bus queues yeah so yeah lil if at all i am using this automated task then definitely it will become a part of my business process right so exactly. how much an user can uh, rely on this automated task yeah. because in a real time business scenario you'll be dealing with lot and lot of messages right correct uh, i agree shri hari and uh, our customers are the proofs uh, for how efficient our automated tasks have been as you rightly said for many of our customers across various domains like shipping industries communication uh, media there are we have customers spread across all these domains and they have automated tasks in serverless 360 being a part of their business process and uh, our capability has proven to meet their business requirements to seamlessly process a uh, huge volume of messages without any slippage okay yeah got it lil mm-hmm. yeah um and thanks lil for you know wonderfully answering all my questions and helping me understand what a dead letter is and you know especially the importance of custom dead letters yeah? yes shri hari a pleasure is mine and hope uh, we together solve a number of customer use cases uh, through features in serverless 360 thank you lil definitely thank you thank you lil Covey.co, 